Okay YouTube, today we'll go ahead and change out the serpentine belt off a 2008 Honda Civic Hybrid. Apparently this is a hybrid, so if you look at the if you look at the um, the serpentine belt, basically it is much thinner than a normal Civic. It's more like a Honda Fit or something else similar to that size. It's actually very very thin for the serpentine belt. I'm changing out the serpentine belt because this car already has 185,000 miles. And looking at this indicator right here, it should be about time. I mean, it's a, according to this pretensioner, it, the cable seems to be stretching. When I first bought it, it was closer up to right there. Now it's down to right there. So I figured it's about time to actually change out this belt. I haven't been able to see on my periodical checks on this belt. I haven't seen any cracks or anything on the belt itself. But I figured, you know, 185,000 miles, it's, it's done its nice time. And I think it's time to replace it. Anywho, so I got a belt, and what we're gonna do right now is get a 14 millimeter um, wrench, move this thing across so we get some slack, and then we'll take this out. Right now, I have a stick. I was just probably it's actually very, very, very narrow between um, the engine and these uh, pulleys and this the side wall of the engine compartment. So it's actually quite tight in there. I'm just kind of worried that I might need another tool for this, but. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because you know I bought the belt. And I want to make sure the belt's right and you know and fits. And if there's under a certain amount of days I can return it, you know I might have to if, if it's the wrong size. But uh, I got the belt. Just want to make sure I got it and I start replacing it. So let's get started. So what you're gonna need is basically just actually one or two things. Um, you don't need all this stuff here. I just brought myself my a few screwdrivers. Um, a few, like a magnetic tray, which you really don't need either. But I needed what I do need is actually a 14 millimeter um, wrench to move that pulley, the tensioner bolt, and also of course the new belt. Uh, this should fit the Honda Civic. I got it off of um, the internet, but basically, yeah, this is the poly rib one um, from Deco. Uh, not sure if it's any better, but I would have got a Honda one, but. I figured I'd try out, you know, a third party and aftermarket and this wrench set. I also have a driveway marker. You might not need this because, but anyways, I wanted, I didn't know if I want, needed to get that, uh, that, that special belt tool that they sell online for like eight or $10. But I figured I don't have time. I'm just gonna use a driveway marker or something else like that to push or move things around if needed. That's about it. Okay, now to remove the belt, I'm gonna basically put this guy, the 14 millimeter, onto that little pulley all tensioner right there, right in that belt. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's hope it's not too hard. Uh, 14 millimeter. I'm gonna release this thing a little. Well, it might be simpler if I. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and. Move this thing. Yep. Find number 14. 14 bolt, and it's supposed to push it, turn it clockwise to loosen the tensor, tensioner. Right now it's at right about there. Oh, another thing I want to say, or is to test the auto tensioner, is that to make sure this thing works, right? According to the Honda manual, what happens is that if you have it at the off position, it should stay at that level. So when you turn on the car, it's supposed to be that uh, to check if the auto tensioner is not working or not, um, this should not change. In other words, where it's marked in these three marks and that little tiny mark right there, it should not change almost at all, or according to that manual. But um, right now I tried it, I started up the car, it didn't really have any changes on the marking on or off when it's on or when it's on. When it's not moving, so I'm going to assume the auto tensioner still works very well. It doesn't need to be replaced. I'm going to go ahead and release this real fast. Just move it a little further. Apparently, the guide is I don't see another guide on this thing, but it goes over the crankshaft, over that one, and this. Just a little farther out. And of course, I took a photo of this before I started. But it seems pretty straightforward. It doesn't 
seems to slide out in that way. So I'm gonna just move this over off this pulley, release it. Actually, it's a little further than that. Come on, come back out. careful of all this stuff, it's really cramped, so there you go, that's off, and okay, so it's over, crank pulley, and this one goes, Super narrow there. Oh, this place now. <sighs> okay, I'm looking at it, and actually the butt looks really darn good. Actually, um, this doesn't need much of anything. It just seemed to stretch a little. I think that's why I'm changing it. Is the the sensor said that you know to change it out if it hits the lower mark? Uh, but it looks actually pretty darn good. What I'm going to do now is basically just compare it with the other one, the new one and the old one, make sure the same length, so if I need to return it, I do it now. So what I'm going to do is basically put each of these edge to edge by, on the thumb and see if they're about the same length, and they look like they are exactly the same length. Just by stretching them out, you know, it seems to be okay, which is good. The older one actually seems to stretch a little bit longer. Um, that's by hair. I, I'm looking at. It feels like um, it, it has a little bit more play than than the old, the new one. But I assume that's right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy in. Let's see how hard this gets. Okay, it's not really too bad. It, I found out it's easier to actually run the belt behind the crankshaft pulley and through this this route first. The behind the Oy, okay, so behind this engine mount, run it across the, um, the pulley back there first, bring it around that, then bring it over, up and over that center um, flat, flat wheel or flat pulley, I'm not sure which, I think that's probably the water pump, I think, and then basically run it down onto the air conditioning condenser uh, drive or condenser. So I'm going to ring it through there, then ring it actually not this is I'm just putting it over to this pulley right now but it's already rung behind there it's flopped over this one and then I'm giving enough slack to push it underneath to go around the air compressor and then I'll run it back up here and this should be pretty easy to, to go over I just need to make sure I have two hands for this so I just figure I give it an update actually that wasn't too bad uh, basically I ran it through the back end dropped enough uh, tension so that I slid it underneath the, the bottom air compressor, compress, compressor uh, module pulley, and then now I have it rung on the center pulley that's flat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically get a wrench and, actually this is actually pretty simple. Get a wrench and basically run it, pull it over this uh, auto tensioner and it should be all good. Then we get uh, the reading on this one. Just that too. Sure I put that, that way. There's really no space. That's the hard part. Let's see. If the front is there, then we need to do the crankshaft one first.
Okay, I just checked all the, made sure all the pulleys and the grooves were aligned and made sure that the flat part was aligned and the other um, guides were aligned with the belt so it's, it's all good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back. Okay, so what I really like about the Honda Civic Hybrid is that they actually put or at least play Honda, is that they've actually put somewhere I, where it's a lot easier to just put a wrench here and just turn it. Um, excuse my adjustable wrench, I just didn't have any. Just put it down and bring this cable back up. Come on. Yeah, I wish I had a little more leverage here, but I will take it. And, ooh, nice, okay. So, it looks like it's about the same, actually, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. So, just double checking all the, all the, all the, the belt routing and make sure that all the right grooves and stuff before I turn this thing on. But I like how the Honda Civic Hybrid, or the Honda, actually just put a, you have two places where I actually move the auto tensioner, which is cool. It looks like this belt fits pretty well, which is great. Uh, I was kind of afraid it didn't, but yeah, that's great. Okay, so it looks like the belts are all running at the right place. All the grooves are matching. Everything's to be matching. Nothing else is going weird, which is good. Look at the other side real fast. Move this out of the way. And take a quickie look. Yep, they all match. So, yay, I'm gonna turn this thing on and make sure hopefully nothing, hopefully everything works. Yeah, I just wanna make sure all the grooves are matching. So yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Actually, I'm gonna put my hand under there and just make sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Gonna start this thing up. Yay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, let's go back and take a look. Ooh, that sounds really good. And Good. Hmm. This is fine. The auto tension didn't move. The position is still the same. That's good news too. I think my auto tension still works. 185,000 miles. Sounds great. the same position. Good. All good. Anyways, that's great. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, the part I was using was a Deco, I don't know if it actually has the other, yeah, 4PK16000. That was the one. It's not a Honda. It's meant to replace the original Honda one, but yeah, it was it's not bad. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, uh, go ahead and click to subscribe or like or comment. Um, but yeah, I had this Honda Civic for since it was new and I love it. 185,000 miles and fixing these little things is kind of fun. So let me know if you have a Honda Civic Hybrid or Honda Civic or even a Fit that's similar to this. I, mean, it uses the same, I think it uses about the same belt size. So it's, the engine motor is actually about very, very similar. But yeah, so this is a Honda Civic Hybrid. Thanks for watching. Click and subscribe for a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.